If you struggle with your backhand, then hitting an inside out forehand and using it as a weapon is key to having success in match play. So we're gonna use Dimitrov and one of his practice match plays that he had from Love Tennis. Thank you to them and go check them out on YouTube because we wouldn't have this amazing footage without them. And we're gonna look at specifically the footwork surrounding an inside out forehand because you can have the best strokes in the world. You can have the best technique on your forehand ground stroke, but if you don't understand how to effectively move around and inside out to be able to hit a forehand instead of a backhand, then you're going to struggle and you're going to be off balance and you're not going to be able to use your forehand as a weapon, which is key to having success in a lot of match play situations. We're gonna use two key specific forehands here from him. And the first one, he doesn't have to move around a lot, but he's moving around a few steps, three or four steps. And then the next one, he's in a much more stressed position as you'll see. And I wanted to use these two as examples because both of them have very similar footwork and there are very, key elements to both of them that make it efficient and successful when moving around the backhand to hit a forehand and really to isolate that forehand to hit a weapon, especially an inside out ball, as well as understanding that there are different similarity or differences, sorry, that you're going to see between the two as well that will help you when you're in a more stress situation compared to an inside out ball where you actually get around and have more time. So the first one we're gonna look at is where he has a little bit more time to get around the ball. He's not pressed so far outside the court to where it's outside of his comfort zone. The first thing he's gonna do is initiate with the hips. He's going to start the unit turn and you can see his hips already starting to rotate right after the split step. That is key because you want your body to stay balanced as you're moving backwards. So many people shuffle as they're moving and then they're not very effective at moving fast because shuffling is just not very fast moving around the ball and is only good when moving around the ball when you're only moving one or two steps. That's really good to shuffle around when you only have one or two steps to move. But if you're really getting around the ball and have some ground to cover, if you shuffle, you will not get there in time and you will not be balanced. So the other thing people do is they do backpedal, as you can see he's getting ready to do, but they backpedal standing straight up. And if you backpedal standing straight up, then you're not able to have your body, your main mass of your body over the center of gravity, and then you just are gonna fall back and hurt yourself a lot of times. So you're gonna see him actually stick his butt out and really backpedal back pretty quickly. Now, because he's not moving more than three or four steps, he's actually able to get all the way around the ball and step back in to a neutral stance onto his left foot so he can transfer his weight through the ball as he's hitting the inside out ball. So that's great if you're in a good position to be able to do that and you can actually move back and be able to get all the way around the ball and step in. That's, that's like prime position to be able to transfer your weight forward through the inside out ball. But there are also times like in this next ball where after the split step, you're gonna see the similarities of moving back. But one of the differences is, is he's gotta cover a lot more ground. So his steps are a little bit bigger as he's moving back. He's still sticking his butt out in the air so that he can keep his chest and center of gravity more balanced. And he's going to actually be able to get all the way around this ball. But since he's a little bit more stressed and outside the court, he's going to use an open stance here instead of stepping in to the court. He's hitting open stance and getting the ball back into the inside out position. 
And a lot of times when you're in a more stressed position, whether you're behind the baseline or you're feeling you have to absorb the ball, open stance is a better option. If you're able to get around and actually transfer your weight forward, great. Use a neutral or even closed stance for sometimes for the inside out ball. But the key similarities that I really want to point out are going to be how the initiating with the hip turn, the unit turn starts and his booty is sticking out and he is going backwards in a backpedaling motion. There's not shuffling, it is backpedaling backwards to get around the ball effectively. It's the quickest and most effective way to get around the ball so that you can hit an inside out or inside in for him for that matter. Now, the differences are, are you able to have enough time to really step into the court and be able to transfer your weight forward in a neutral or closed stance depending upon whether like right here he has plenty of time to get all the way around the ball and yes he is pretty far outside the court so there's always that chance that unless you hit a very strong ball you're going to have trouble but he felt comfortable to be able to step through the ball and not have to hit that pressured open stance. But the next ball where we see him a little bit more stressed, that's when you're gonna see the open stance come out and he's actually falling backwards a little bit, falling sideways, he's off balance. And that's when you're gonna see the footwork change. So it's really important to understand that the most efficient way to go around the backhand to hit an inside out or inside in forehand for that matter is the footwork and the back pedaling backwards while keeping your body your butt out so that you can keep your center of gravity where it needs to be so you're not going to fall over so that's key for him moving around and being able to be in a strong position so that he can use his forehand as a weapon it doesn't always have to rely on his backhand from that position in the court he's going to be able to really utilize running around and being able to either step in or hit an open stance, but really use that forehand for a weapon to win more points.